The DF-100 missile's glimpse in the 2019 National Day Parade was as brief but piercing as a bolt of lightning across the night sky. As the camouflage-covered launch vehicle drove through Tiananmen Square, the cameras of military observers around the world quickly focused on it, trying to capture every detail of this debut supersonic cruise missile, the smooth lines of its body, the unique configuration of its booster, and its near-vertical cold launching stance, all of which indicate its essential difference from traditional ballistic missiles. However, after only a few minutes of unveiling, it receded into the background like a ghost, and after six years, no high-definition images have been released. This deliberately low profile has amplified its aura of mystery, as the world's only operational long-range supersonic cruise missile. What kind of strategic cards does the DF-100 hide? Why did it choose to remain in the shadows at the peak of its technology? The answer may lie in its subversive technical genes and subtle strategic game. The core breakthrough of DF-100 lies in the generational leap of its power system. It abandons the turbofan engine model of traditional cruise missiles and adopts the combined architecture of solid rocket booster and subcombustion ramjet engine. At launch, the solid rocket pushes the missile up to 30 kilometers with a near-vertical trajectory and then throws off the fairing, exposing the head inlet and igniting the ramjet engine to enter the cruise phase. This design allows it to fly continuously at Mach 4 in the thin atmosphere of the adjacent space, which is equivalent to launching from Fujian to Guam in just 38 minutes, shortening the breakout time by more than 80% compared to subsonic cruise missiles. More importantly, this altitude exceeds the lift limit of most warplanes, and the intercepting line of air defense missiles, making it a silent sword hanging over the enemy's head. The revolutionary enhancement of the ability to break out of the defense not only from the height and speed. DF-100 body covered with nanoscale wave absorbing materials will be its radar reflection cross section compressed to 0.01 square meters, only equivalent to a sparrow's electromagnetic signal characteristics. With the terminal serpentine maneuvering technology, the U.S. Army's SAD and Patriot, system's interception window has been compressed to less than 12 seconds. 2023 Taiwan Strait exercises, the missile broke through the three-layer anti-missile network with 89% success rate, completely overturning the logic of traditional air defense system interception. In the Taiwan Strait exercise in 2023, the missile broke through three layers of anti-missile networks with a success rate of 89%, completely subverting the interception logic of traditional air defense systems. This triple surprise defense capability of stealth, high speed, and surprise makes it the perfect assassin to penetrate modern air defense networks. The combination of precision and destructive effect further amplifies the tactical value. Through the Baidu 3cm level positioning, inertial navigation and the end of the infrared imaging, radar scene matching composite guidance, its round probability error is controlled at the level of 1 meter. The Eastern War Zone training screen shows that it can accurately penetrate the three layers of reinforced concrete target and even realize the surgical strike of destroying the underground command post by drilling through the vent. Modular warhead designed to support rapid switching combat mode, drilling bomb can penetrate 60 meters of concrete fortifications. Electromagnetic pulse bomb can paralyze electronic equipment within a radius of 10 kilometers, temperature and pressure bomb to form an instantaneous vacuum to kill and injure the living forces. If equipped with 300,000 ton equivalent nuclear warheads, it can be upgraded to the ultimate bargaining chip for strategic ambiguity. The DF-100 has quietly rewritten the rules of security in the Asia-Pacific region. Its 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers range covers the core nodes of the second island chain. Launched from Zhejiang can hit all of Japan. Hainan base can threaten the northern part of Australia. The U.S. military was forced to start the Guam base of $30 billion to strengthen the project and will be the carrier fleet retreat to 4,000 kilometers away. Japan's emergency allocation of 12% of the defense budget to upgrade the Aegis system, but it is still difficult to fill the interception loophole. This presence is deterrence, effect is the key fulcrum of China's anti-intervention area denial strategy. The more far-reaching impact is reflected in the integration and innovation of the combat system. 2024 in the South China Sea exercise. The 055 type destroyer guided the DF 100 through the data chain to attack a moving target ship 1,800 kilometers away, with a hit rate of 92%. This ship guide land attack cross domain fire network, marking the first time that the PLA realized the second island chain of mobile targets in real time coordinated strike, the aircraft carrier exclusion zone pushed to the far sea. The unit price from 230 million yuan compressed to 48 million yuan cost revolution, so that the rocket force can maintain thousands of inventory. 
the formation of saturation attack capability. The Pentagon assessment shows that the Asia-Pacific anti-missile system to respond to the missile's operating costs surged by 300 percent into the strategic dilemma of interception that is bankrupt. Why such a powerful weapon after the parade almost? Snow. The surface reason is the explosive development of Chinese missile technology. Almost the same time as the DF-100 launch, the terminal speed of Mach 18 DF-26 intermediate range ballistic missiles into mass production. Range of 8,000 km DF-27 hypersonic missiles more, water drift ballistic, completely break through the existing anti-missile logic. In contrast, the DF-100 Mach 4 high altitude surprise defense in the standard, minus 6 interceptor upgrades show shortcomings. The U.S. military deduction of its interception success rate of 40 percent, while less than 5 percent of the DF-27. The deeper reason points to the generational change of the power system the DF-100 subcombustion ramjet engine needs to decelerate the intake air to subsonic combustion, and the energy loss leads to the speed wall stuck at Mach 4. China's military team has broken through the technology of the supercombustion ramjet engine, realizing the direct combustion of fuel injection in the supersonic airflow, and the theoretical speed exceeds Mach 10. The exhibition panels at the Zhuhai Air Show were subtly labeled, Super Combustion Ramjet Verification Completed, suggesting that a true hypersonic cruise missile would soon take over the baton. 110 The brief appearance of the DF-100 was like the one who carries on the previous and the one who starts the next in the technological leap. The DF-100's brief appearance was like the successor in a technological leap forward, validating the feasibility of ramjet power and smart guidance and laying the groundwork for a successor. The most brilliant strategy is the oriental wisdom of hiding the sharpness and showing the clumsiness. Moderate display of key technical parameters but strict confidentiality of the core capabilities of the boundary, so that the opponent into the fear of the unknown. When the US AGM-183 missiles repeatedly failed, India's Mach 5 missile stays in the PPT stage. The stable existence of the DF-100 itself has become a silent declaration of strategic deterrence. This mystery forced the opponent to the highest cost plan to deal with potential threats but has never been able to break the code of innovation of the Chinese military industry. Although the DF-100 has faded from the scene today, its technological legacy has permeated the bloodline of China's missile system. Drawing on its aerodynamic design of air-launched DF-100C can be carried by the H-6N, the range exceeds 5,000 kilometers, will be included in the strike radius of Hawaii. Super ignition ramjet engine test data directly contribute to the maturity of the YJ-21, ship carried hypersonic missiles, and the 055 large drive constitutes a double sword of the sea in the sky. More far-reaching is that it verifies the modern philosophy of speed over quantity. When a Mach 4 missile needs to consume 20 enemy interceptors, the economics of war is quietly tilted to the innovator. In the electromagnetic smoke of the Taiwan Strait exercises, in the South China Sea deep blue ballistic trajectory, DF-100 has not shown up again but always with the invisible hand to reshape the physical boundaries of the game of great powers. Every time it disappears, in fact for the more severe, appear to build up strength. When the rivals in the western Pacific Ocean are still anxious to intercept the Mach 4 target, China's military industry has pointed to the sharp edge of the dome of Mach 10. There, a new war epic written by the super-ignition ranged engine, with the DF-100, paved trails whistling.